Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the great apostles, Saints Philip and James. Through their preaching, we are able to recognize Jesus in His resurrection. In the faith of the apostles, let us also put our faith and conviction in the living Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you, you we, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father. Father Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that He was buried, that He was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, that He appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. After that, He appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Every celebration of an apostle in the church is treated as a great feast. Malaking kapistahan po kapag ipinagdiriwang natin ang mga apostol ni Jesus. In our gospel reading today, we see Jesus promising greatness to his apostles. Jesus said to Philip, If you believe in me, you will do also the great things that I have done. Jesus promised greatness to his apostles. But for Jesus, what can be greatness? What does great things, great actions, great works that Jesus is telling Philip? If we will look at the actions of Jesus, the great works that Jesus is referring to are the good works that Jesus was doing. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus is talking about greatness, he was talking about goodness. Ang kadakilaan ay makikita sa kabutihan. Ganyan naman ang Panginoon. Dakila ang Panginoon sapagkat siya ay mabuti. Dakila ang Panginoon hindi lang dahil siya ay Diyos at makapangyarihan. Dakila ang Panginoon dahil siya ay mabuti. God's greatness is His goodness. And greatness will always be measured only in goodness. Masusukat ang kadakilaan ng isang tao sa pamamagitan ng kanyang kabutihan na ipinakita. One time I was invited to celebrate a Mass in a school. 
I noticed that there was this name that I see repeatedly around the school. A building was given to his name. A room was uh, given on his name. Sabi ko doon sa teacher na kasama ko, siguro magaling tong tao na to. Kasi nakapangalan siya sa lahat. Nakikita ko ang letrato niya. Nakikita ko ang estatwa niya. Ang pangalan niya sa lahat ng building. I thought that this man was really great. Sabi sa akin ng teacher, ay opo, marami kong napagawa yan dito sa school. Pero masungit ho yan. <laughs> Greatness will always be measured through goodness. You may have built a lot, but in the end, if you are not good, you will not be great. That is why in our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the apostles preached the good works of Jesus. The apostles preached the greatness of Jesus. And their preaching is all about Jesus suffering, Jesus dying, and Jesus rising for us. That is the greatness of Jesus. His greatness can be seen in His goodness. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate today these great apostles, let us be reminded that they are called great because they were good persons. Greatness will only be seen in goodness. And so let us not just aspire always to be great. Let us first aspire to be good, to be good persons. Yesterday, I watched on the news a man who admitted in front of public television that he invented a case against Senator De Lima. He cried in front of national television saying sorry because he lied. He invented a case against a person who is now incarcerated for five years. Thank God, he was not just aspiring for greatness. He aspired to be a good person. After five years of keeping that lie in himself, he is now aspiring for goodness. Hindi pa puhuli ang lahat, mga minamahal na kapatid. Kung tayo man ay nagtatago sa kasinungalingan, tandaan natin, tinatawag tayo ng Panginoon sa kabutihan. Before we aspire for greatness, let us first make sure that we aspire for goodness. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray for the needs of the members of the church through the intercession of Saints Philip and James. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That bishops and priests may 
fearlessly undertake the task of evangelization even in most unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who do not know Christ may be led to the light of the gospel by the teachings and examples of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be witnesses of the gospel through our service of neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos, faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That healing may be granted to the sick through our ministry and services. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who diligently toiled in this life may receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, your Son reveals your love for us. Aided by the prayers of courageous pastors who care for your people, we bring our petitions before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the apostles Philip and James and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, 
and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostles Philip and James, now and forever. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all, now and forever. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland for by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi Laetare, Alleluia, qui acque meruisti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Teum, Alleluia. Yeah.